chain. Uh, this is part two of the uh, first video of showing you the build, right? Um, di different people play differently. Um, you can look at this. Uh, to me, one of the best players here for this build. This is Normarka, uh, by the way. Uh, so he is pretty good. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for. The crit image here, but he's farming right now, so he has farming gears on. Uh, you still want spell? You want to change all that, right? Um, so this is what you want: convert lightning damage, attack speed, uh, grand approach. Uh, this is for farming uh, essences and stuff. Uh, this right here convert uh, all physical damage anyway to lightning. So um, so that's that. So, because you want attack speed, attack speed increase the um, cast of the lightning, lightning uh, whirlwind, uh, spin faster. So the more you spin, the more you get um, damage cast cast on on, on lightning chain. Um, same thing here, resource dampen, thirty percent movement speed amplification. That's crazy. Might look at that later. Look into it. Uh, he has release element for the amplification and cast speed for lightning chain. Uh, which is good too, because when you can do that, when you, when your crit is like, when your crit rate is like, you know, like this, then that's fine. But if you in the more in the beginning, y y your crit is pretty low, so you want the vital strike. Uh, that's why I consider um, for the beginning. So it has elemental amplification, which is good too. Uh, strike, uh, mana storm, strike, the three trifecta fan witness here. Um, stuff like that uh, he has uh, critical set of critical because it's crit pretty low it seems uh, physical domain uh, for physical dam uh, damage taken uh, tenacity regeneration uh, give more HP and HP regen uh, we can totem for vulnerable uh, effect uh, which is increased damage taken to enemies uh, shout for more armor and damage. Very tanky, very tanky, but uh, clear pretty fast. All right, so let's took let that's a pro build, uh, max level, max gear, everything. I'm the beginner, so I'm 93. I'm just showing you in case you guys the build for beginners, right? You can get it and get it done. Uh, <clears throat> let's take a let's take a look at the gameplay. So right now. So right now we're gonna run. Um, we're gonna run some maps here. Uh, right now I can do 123. We can try 123. Might be a little bit difficult for me, cause um. So I just want 121. 121 is good. Just gonna try to test this out. buff movement speed and you just spin you see how it says 1.6 million uh, reason why I do so much damage is because uh, the three uh, amplification per chain remaining which is huge uh, since the more chain you have uh, the more it's gonna do damage uh, as you can see it clear maps really really fast one of the fastest maps clear build um, I, 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 I I've seen build so far. That's why it was top tier. Um, so we can get started on that. And this is level 123 mobs, 121 mobs. Uh, no uh, dark energy or anything, because uh, yeah, my my HP is pretty low. I'm only level 93, not max level. My gears are pretty mediocre. Uh, but as you can see, you can keep channeling. Uh, so, so the faster your whirlwind spins, <clears throat> the faster the lightning chain will cast. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cause yeah, the main point of playing this this build is your your light, lightning chain damage, right? So you you don't need to worry about um, your whirlwind too much. Your woman, your woman is secondary, um, so 
the only thing you need to focus is like your your gear um, or your your zodiac uh, focus on attack speed uh, and and crit damage and crit crit rate and all that everything should be elemental damage uh, I've seen some people switch it up uh, and use whirlwind as main um, you can do that as well uh, but I prefer to use lightning chain so much more damage and it clear mobs faster and further away so so lightning chain we, we hit anything around the wall as well so as long as it's 15 monsters or 14 or whatever the main the main count you just continue casting it and it would just clear the whole mobs which is pretty insane sometimes my damage jump up to 6 million you can see it, it's 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 very not consistent damage but it's like sometimes it spikes which is great I gotta be careful here Thanks guys for watching, please leave a comment down below, uh, like and subscribe if you like this video and guide, um, again, I, I'm, I'm not showing you guys, you guys like crazy um, gear, you can achieve this with minimal gear, right? And make sure you get the right awaken uh, for your lightning chain, so that way it does more damage. Um, Doing the wrong awaken can affect the skill a lot. Reason why I have moving speed potion is because whirlwind is when you when you use whirlwind your uh at normal is you you get reduced uh, moving speed a lot and at at blue it is less rare is less at legendary is fifteen percent that's what you want to do uh as fast as possible get it to fifteen percent first okay so that it reduces only fifteen percent of your movement speed uh, that's full run. Remember, cast range, the reason why I went area effect instead of plus one rune level uh, for the rune stone is because I can s pretty much stay far away and lightning chain still procs. I don't need to go crazy. Missed that. Alright, thanks you guys uh, for watching the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Much appreciated for the love for the past couple weeks uh, for the channel. Uh, thanks. If you have any questions, please leave in a comment. I would like to answer as soon as I can. Have a good one.